The Equity Group Holdings has introduced its fintech subsidiary, FinSav, to aid with digital financial service provision. In the region, FinSav, standing as an innovator, will contribute to the ease of doing business in Africa through for providing technology solutions. KTN's Julia Wino has more. All right, Abby, what exactly we are having here today is a matter of financial service. This is a new development that actually has been adopted by Equity Bank. And right now, I am joined by Mark Ngari, who's the managing director of FinServe. And uh, Mark, first of all, I'd like to ask you this question. There's somebody out there who's trying to understand what FinServe means. Would you like to explain that to us, what exactly FinServe means to our common mananchi? Yeah, so it's a very interesting question. You know, many people out there know us as Equitel because that's the brand name we've been operating for this long, for about three years. And um, with Equitel, we built a brand of reliability, freedom, choice and control using our SIM card. And it's interesting that in three years, now we are about 20% of market share. Obviously, 80% is the other telcos. So we're actually growing pretty fast. Um, and that's what it means to the ordinary Wananchi. The guys who are providing you that reliability and service are the same ones who have been launching today other services that they are offering. Why FinServe? And at the same time, there's a confusion between FinServe and FinTechnology. Maybe if you can explain to us what, what's the main difference between these two and why FinServe for digital marketing or digital transaction money. Yeah, so, you know, FinServe implies financial service. So, you know, we joined the two names and came up with FinServe for two reasons. A, we are focusing a lot on digital financial services, but two, we're here to serve the people. So we serve. Um, and that's why we came up with the name FinServe. Um, the company was registered quite a while ago, so even before the whole hype around fin fintechs and financial technology, um, it was registered, I think, in 2009. So, you know, we've been in the backdrop ever since. And now that fintech is actually coming up of age, you know, we said, why don't we open up now to everybody as FinServe? Is this only accessible to banks? So you can imagine, you know, our heritage has been digitizing equity group. And equity group from the slides you saw now are doing 227 million transactions, you know, in a day, you know, I mean, so in a month. It's, it is quite a bit of transactions using digital financial services. So now we said, since we have digitized equity, why not open up for everybody else? Whether you're a financial institution, whether you're a kiosk, whether you're a SACO or a telco company as well. You know, we are open to do business with everybody. Taking those capabilities we've built and plugging into other people for the benefit of our people. So where exactly can people access this? Let me say a normal mamamboga who'd want to adopt a fin service. Yeah, so l l let's speak a, a mamamboga for example. You know, she'll want to accept payments from her customers. Right now, probably she can only do cash and mobile money. What we are doing is that we're telling her, you don't need to keep six SIM cards for different mobile operators. You don't need to get a big PDQ to accept cards. You know, you can actually come to us and we shall give you a simple connection to our platform and you shall be able to accept payments from anyone. So you just go once and you plug in everybody. Yeah. Is Equity Group the first partners you've had or have you had other partners before? So we, we actually do have quite a number of partners. So right now we have Equity, of course, but we also have three other banks and we have actually six other circles and MFIs. So we actually have quite a number of uh, customers. And that's not forgetting small businesses that we're actually doing work for. So we have quite a number of customers already. And you, as, I, as I said in my presentation, you know, right now we're doing almost about four billion in a, in a month just out of our own customers, leaving out the, the bank customers. To my last question, why would you consider FinServe important? Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's important because, you know, right now we're trying to drive youth employment as one of the big four agendas. The fact that we are democratizing and opening up our platform and saying, look, we don't want just to have it for ourselves. We want to give any innovator, any entrepreneur who wants to sell online, who wants to accept payments, who tomorrow will grow big and say, look, I want to open a shop in Tanzania, in Uganda, in DRC, in Ethiopia. You know, we are saying, you go open. Don't worry about payments. We have it covered for you. Thank you so much, Mark. Abby, as you've heard, this is one of the newest technologies that has been introduced by FinServe, I mean by Jack Ngarian. This is a technology that needs to be adapted by most people who are actually into business. Back to you in studio, Abby.